External female genital organs. Here it is labia pudendi maiora and space between them, all of this space. That is rima pudendi, rima pudendi, pudendal cleft. And here it is labia pudendi minora and space between them, that is vestibulum vagina. And into the vestibule, what opens? Here it is ostium vagina and this opening is ostium urethra externum. Labia pudendi minora, uh, uh, in the region of clitoris, subdivides into two crews, lateral crews, surround head of the clitoris and makes uh, preputium clitoris, here it is preputium clitoris. And medially, medially, not very clear to see here, that is medial crus, crus mediale, here it is the same and both of them join together and attach to the head of clitoris and forms uh, frenulum clitoris. Here it is frenulum clitoris, here it is preputium clitoris, and here it is head of the clitoris, here it is. Uh, what else? What else? That is labia pudendi minora, and uh, that is vestibulum vagina, that is frenulum clitoris, that is head of the clitoris, and here it is preputium clitoris. This blue color, that is uh, venous plexus, which correspond to corpus spongiosum of male penis. You know that corpus spongiosum, corpus spongiosum, it is unpaired structure, and corpus cavernosum is paired. In female, corpus cavernosum participates in clitoris, and like penis, clitoris uh, has uh, cruz dextrum and cruz sinistrum. They attach to ramus inferior osis pubis and head glans clitoris. But uh, corpus spongiosum in male, in female, subdivides into two structures. They are bulbus vestibuli. It is paired and uh, this bulbus vestibuli at the base of labia pudendi minora. Here it is gland, glandula vestibularis major, that is a mucous gland or Bartholian gland, and duct from this gland opens into vestibulum vagina. Some words about perineum. Perineum, that is complex of muscles and fascia, which is closed outlet from true pelvis. And uh, perineum subdivides into pelvic diaphragm and urogenital diaphragm. Pelvic diaphragm is uh, wider and consists of uh, musculus levator ani. Here it is largest muscle of perineum, that is musculus levator ani and uh, here it is sphincter ani externus and musculus coccygeus. They are three muscles of pelvic diaphragm, levator ani, sphincter ani externus and musculus coccygeus. And all of these muscles supplies with two fascia. One fascia, it is above of these muscles, you know, from the surface of pelvis, true pelvis, that is, uh, fascia diaphragmatis pelvis superior and here it is fascia diaphragmatis pelvis inferior and urogenital diaphragm here it is urogenital diaphragm uh, this diaphragm consists of deep muscles and superficial deep muscle is musculus transversus perinei profundus that is deep transverse muscle of perineum and this muscle in place where urethra pass through this muscle, it is surround urethra and makes musculus sphincter urethra. Uh, and three superficial muscles, musculus transversus perineus superficialis, musculus ischio cavernosus, and musculus bulbus pangiosus, here and here. Uh, last muscle, musculus bulbus pangiosus, in female has another name, musculus constrictor cunei. Musculus constrictor cunei in female, and uh, musculus bulbus pangiosus, that is another name of the same muscle. Urogenital diaphragm has three fascia. 
one fascia that is above of deep transverse muscle here it is faster diaphragmatis urogenitalis superior this fascia faster diaphragmatis urogenitalis inferior it separates deep and superficial muscles and last fascia it closed all superficial muscles it is faster perinei superficialis that is why in pelvic diaphragm we have two fascia in urogenital diaphragm three fascia uh, here it is we can see fossa fossa is heurectalis that is space between uh, tuberous hiaticum laterally medially that is levator ani and sphincter ani externus anterior anteriorly transversus perineus superficialis and profundus and this space closed with the help of fat tissue and name of this fat tissue paraproctus do you remember paraproctitis that is inflammation in this region some words about fascia it is only for your understanding look here that is pelvic diaphragm diaphragma pelvis that is pelvic diaphragm it consists of musculus levator ani and here it is musculus sphincter ani externus and this pelvic diaphragm supplies here it is fascia diaphragmatis pelvis superior and here it is fascia diaphragmatis pelvis inferior now urogenital diaphragm it consists of uh, deep muscle that is musculus transversus perinei profundus and uh, three superficial muscles or fascia or musculus transversus perinei superficialis musculus bulbus pongiosus and ischia cavernosus all of them here and urogenital diaphragm consists of superior fascia of urogenital diaphragm fascia diaphragmatis urogenitalis superior inferior fascia of urogenital diaphragm fascia diaphragmatis urogenitalis inferior and superficial fascia of perineal fascia diaf uh, perinei superficialis here it is fascia perinei superficialis and here it is fascia diaphragmatis pelvis inferior this fascia uh, inferior fascia of urogenital diaphragm it is in space between deep transverse muscle and all of these superficial muscles and one fascia above of deep transverse muscle i think that is all in male in male the same muscles the same muscles uh, that is levator anis sphincter ani externus here it is coccygeus muscle transversus perinei superficialis the transversus perinei profundus ischia cavernosus and bulbus pongiosus they are the same and here it is fossa ischio rectalis next monday will mini exam on respiratory and urogenital on uh, thursday you will answer uh, external female genital organs and perineum and next Thursday, uh, next ma Monday mini exam mini exam and uh, it will consist of written test and oral answer oral answer on preparates do you know what is it yes. seminal yes. vesicle and here it is yes. and what is it yes. ureter and here it is urethra yes. and that is prostate yes. gland and what is this part of, a, of apex. apex? Here it is fundus and that is corpus. Mm. That is uterus. Here it is ovary. That is fallopian tube. Here it is round ligament of the uterus. Round ligament. Testis. Testis. And look here. That is sinus, sinus epididymitis. What is what is it? Is it right or left? Yeah. Right yeah. testis. And what is it? No. Funiculus spermaticus. And only one structure in this funiculus spermaticus, only here it is. That is ductus deferens. What, what I take now? Glans penis. 
and this part of gland span that is corona glandis and posterior part of corpus pongiosum that is bulbus penis bulbus penis what is this lung is it right or left two lungs or two lobes that is why it is left lung and uh, and uh, at the root of the left lung superiorly we have artery then bronchi here and here two veins Oh, it is bronchial tree, trachea, bronchus principalis sinister, dexter, here it is bronchial abaris. What do I take now? Thyroid gland. Here it is uh, isthmus of thyroid gland and that is pyramidal lobe, lobus pyramidalis. And posteriorly here it is parathyroid gland here and here. What is this cartilage of the larynx here and here? That is that is arytenate cartilage. Here it is cricket, that is epiglottis. Hide bone, thyroid cartilage. Agitus, laryngeus. Okay. Today that is all.